What is going on everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to short a stock on Webull. We'll be talking about what you need in order to be able to short and then how it works and then how you can calculate the hard to borrow fees and things of that nature. Because when shorting stocks, for example, look at MVIS today when we're filming this video, if we click on the short tab right here and we try to go short 10 shares, for example, right now, it's going to say that this security is hard to borrow. It's going to say we have 150 15% hard to borrow fee rate. We want to talk about how that's calculated and then how you can make sure before you take any trades, you already know what you need to cover in terms of that fee, right? So you want to make sure that when you make a trade and you're taking a short position, that you want to make sure that you have your risk reward in line to the point where it makes sense to take the short position and still pay this fee, okay? So we'll talk about the confusion when it comes to that. First, make sure you guys are jumping down below, subscribing to the channel, hitting that thumbs up button. We're going to zoom in to make sure you can see things as best as possible. But if you don't have the settings turned up to the highest playback settings, sometimes YouTube won't recommend a certain setting or we'll play it at, you know, 720p instead of the, you know, the 4K max we have. We record these in 4K so that you can see everything as easy as possible. So. We're going to dive into this right now. You need a margin account on Webull to do this. If you don't have that on the app, you can go into the settings tab and you can actually go into your account information and you can change your account. Now, if you have a cash account and you're going from cash to margin, you're going to have to sell everything, be all cash, let that cash settle in order for Webull to be actually able to go and transition your account over to a margin account. Just make sure that's in line before we start. Now, if you dive into this right here, which we're going to go through this calculation so you guys can understand how this works as easy as possible. So if you see the HTB hard to borrow when you're going to short sell a stock, that's going to tell you, oh, there's going to be a fee here. Let's make sure we know how much this fee is before we do it. Now, many stocks you actually can't short on wheel because they're just not any shares available. So this is definitely not the best platform when you're going to be looking to short stocks and make money on the downside. There are certainly better platforms with locates and things like that that are a little bit of higher quality than Webull, but for the most part, you're going to have opportunities on a lot of well-known stocks to take advantage of shorts. So they go through an example really, really quick. And to make things as simple as possible, what you need to know to determine what it's going to cost you for that day or per day in terms of holding those shares, because you're borrowing shares, you're borrowing shares to sell than to buy back. And ideally, you want to buy them back at a lower price and you want to keep that difference. That's how you make money when you're shorting a stock, but there's fees. Now, these days, there's essentially no fees for most brokers when it comes to actually you know, buying and selling. There's no commissions, which makes it a lot easier and makes it a lot better for someone who's just starting out with a small account size to jump on in. But when we're talking about percentages here, and so it doesn't necessarily matter what size your account is. We're going to be talking about this right now. So, you want to take that closing price of the stock, multiply that by 1.02, which is the current industry convention that they multiply that by. That is going to equal your per share collateral amount. And then you're going to round that up to the nearest dollar. So for example, right here, if we go back to MVIS, let's say MVIS closes right here at 1858. You take that, you multiply by 1.02, you're going to still get below 19. You round it up to the nearest whole dollar and you get a $19 number. That's your MVIS per share collateral amount rounded up to the nearest dollar, which would be 19 in the MVIS case for this example. In this example that they're using, it's gonna be 14. Then you take that number, that 14, and then you multiply that by how many shares you're going to short. So that's the quantity of shares. So let's say I'm gonna use that 10 share example, and that's what we're gonna do here in this video. I'm gonna use a 10 share short example for MVIS. So we're gonna do that, and I'm gonna multiply that 10 by that 19 for MVIS in this case, but you multiply that number by that per share collateral amount. That's gonna give you a value, okay? We're gonna take that value, that dollar value, essentially the cost of the trade or the trade value in Webull's eyes, and then you're gonna multiply that value by the annual hard to borrow rate. Now understand, when we go back here to MVIS and I click on short, that's gonna tell me this is the hard to borrow rate. This is the annual rate, okay? Which you have to understand that it's an annual rate, so that makes things a little more interesting. Why right? people think, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna pay 115%. Well, no, you're not actually paying 115%. In the example they use, the rate is set to 6% annual. In our rate, it's a lot higher because MVIS is a, is a stock that's running on up. It's a hard to borrow stock and there's a lot of demand for these shares, right? So that's why these rates go up. But here you'll take that rate, that percentages, convert that percentage, convert it to a decimal, 
and then multiply it. In this case, it comes out to $840 for this example that they are using right here. Then you'll take that and you'll divide it by 360, roughly the amount of days in one year, and you'll get your daily hard to borrow fee. So in this example, you're trading a stock around $14. You're gonna trade a thousand shares. It's actually only gonna cost you $2.33 to borrow those shares for the day. So if you're looking for a short intraday for a day trade, it's really not that expensive. And I wanna make sure that that is known so everyone understands that, hey, just because there's a massive hard to borrow fee, it's not as expensive as you think. Now, if you're gonna hold this overnight for weeks, for months, that's where things can add up unless you're shorting something that's a very, very cheap stock to short and you're looking for a massive downside, then it might make some sense. So ultimately, doing this calculation in your head or quickly on, on paper before you ever short something is a good thing to know just so you have that in front of you before you short. Let's do that for MVIS. So here's MVIS, all right? We can do this calculation ourselves. I'm going to round things up. It's not the perfect calculation. Obviously, we don't know what the closing price of MVIS is going to be, but let's say we take that $19 price and we multiply that by 10 shares. That's how many shares I'm gonna go short in this example. Example, that's going to cost $190 for us to do. Now we have our 190. I'm going to multiply that by that 115.33%. So how do you do that? Well, it's actually going to be a multiple that's not a decimal. It's going to be 1.15, 115%, 0.33, you add the extra 33. So take that and you multiply this by that 190, you get 219, 12 and change. Okay. So now we have 219, 12 and change. Let's now divide this number by 360. We divide by 360 and we get 60 cents. So it's going to cost me 60 cents or just 61 cents or so in order to short this stock for one day. Okay. To borrow the 10 shares for the day. Okay. That's MBIS example. That's right now. Let's go ahead and do it. So if I go ahead and I actually, let me make sure we, uh, we fix our price point here to that 19, what are we at? 1910. Uh, it's pushing out. Let's do it like a 1915. See if it hits. Let's do that and let's submit that short here for MVIS. We're gonna get this window popping up. It's gonna tell us all the information. I'm gonna click on short. We may have to move our order around here in order to capitalize on this MVIS trade, but let's take advantage of this and we'll do the math once we get this. Let's actually bring it on down. Let's bring it to like 1896. Maybe that will fill here as we're just trading back and forth between that 18 and 19 area. Let's see if we get the fill on MVIS. All right, so there we are. Now we are filled. Our position is in at this 1896. Now we talked about how it's going to cost us about 61 cents in order for this to work out. So how do we make sure that we make more than 61 cents? We'll do the trade math in our head right here. Let's see where we have to sell MVIS in order to make more than 61 cents in order to make sure that this trade works out. And I apologize if I said sell, we're going to have to buy back. We're buying these shares back. So now to close out our position, you go to the buy tab and I'm going to go in here. Look at that. We got a pretty big drop on MVIS as we're speaking. I'm going to go in here and do 1865 and see if we can get those shares back really quick and make a quick little scalp trade here on MVIS. If it fills, that'll be great. We're going to make over 30 cents, 31 cents per share in just a matter of two minutes. And just like that, we got the fill. So now we can do the math on how much money we made on this trade. Then of course, subtract that 61 cent fee that it cost us to borrow those 10 shares. So if we do the math, we have 10 shares of MVIS and we got that at 1896. So let's times that by $18.96. That's gonna be $189.60. Now we also have to take into account how much we sold it for. So we sold 10 shares for 1865. So 10 shares times 18.65, that's going to be 186.5. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the initial 189.6. I'm going to subtract 186.5. We made a profit of $3.01 on this trade. Now, also have to understand that we had to subtract that 60 cent fee because it was a hard to borrow stock. So it cost us 61 cents to borrow those 10 shares. So now I'm gonna subtract the 61 cents and now we ended up with a profit of $2.49 roughly on that MVIS short. So you guys can see, it's not as expensive as it may seem on the surface when you're looking at that 100% plus fee, as long as you're making sure you're actually taking a sizable trade. So in that example, right, a 30 cent move on this stock was enough to give us some profit and also 
capitalize and make sure that that fee was worth our while in taking. So hopefully that makes some sense. That's how to short a stock on Weeble. If you guys had any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. You go ahead here, you click on that short, you go through the order form, and then to cover your short, you have to buy back those shares. So you do the exact opposite of when you're buying and selling and you go and buy. And Weeble will give you a little nice alert saying, hey, you're negative X number of shares at this price. And it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward when it comes to buying them back. It's just as if you're buying a stock. So hopefully that was helpful. Any comments, leave them down below. Leave a like on this video. That's how it works. I hope you guys take advantage of this because it's really, really useful to do this in different market conditions. It's not always going to be a bull market and there's always opportunity even inside a bull market to take advantage of small little gains like that. For example, MVIS, we're taking a look at this stock. Look where it's at. We have these lines running here because it's at a very strong resistance point. So that short actually made some sense. Thanks again for tuning in. There's links down below to get access to Weeble to get two free stocks when you sign up. Other links down below to our other channels as well in the description box. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.